But you can do it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, give me just a second. And he gets up and walks off, and you see he starts rummaging through uh, what looks to be a couple of like crates on the far side of the room, and he's like pulling things out and you know, glass containers, robes, outfits. Looks like probably keepsakes from his father that were placed away to be stored. And he pulls out a small, looks like a leather book, like a little pocket book. And begins like thumbing through. While you're there, you see the little elven girl. She's kind of sitting. She's placed the uh, the metal blank and kind of you know, quenched it in the water and set it aside. And she's kind of quietly in the corner watching, wide-eyed. This little, like wayfish girl uh, with big arms. <laughs> she's pretty tough for like a wayfish elven girl. She's been working this forge for a while. Um, actually, like you and Bo and her probably have similar arm structure. I compare my guns. <laughs> Are so? mine bigger? Like, do you just look at them or do you like <laughs> challenge? I kind of like inch towards her and just like... <laughs> she looks at you quietly and flexes too. It's pretty good. What's your name? And she makes a hand motion. Oh. I know Dwarvish, but I don't... Fuck. Uh, you, the, uh, pull out um, um, my, um, my uh, As you're doing this, um, Uma Gorn is in the process of going through his book, goes, uh, that's Dylan. She doesn't speak, but she can hear you. Dylan. He goes through I, and, fi uh, and finds, he goes, oh, oh, oh. And he comes over and pulls the page and brings it over. Kind of, if there's anything you want to do real fast, as he's coming over with the book, what do you want to do? Uh, I'll talk to Dylan later. Sets down the book. You can see the page that he has open. There are sketches of the exact blade that you have there as one. Look at that. All right. Well, there's um, there's certainly some good news. I can probably repair this. Bad news: I don't have the material needed. Re refined residuum, I assume. No, I don't even know what that is. Oh. What what what, what do you need? Interesting. Well, uh, if you look here, and he points out to the base of the blade, you can see there's elements that creep up, uh, and there's, there's these kind of faint veins around some of the runes that have this like bluish, like black blue metal color. He goes, wow. this, this is called Ice Flex. Ice Flex? It's a treated form of mithril that uh, is used, and it's very difficult to attain, and uh, is what could repair this and bring the magic back whole. Uh, I don't have any. Where would you get it? Well, you see, Ice Flex is kind of a nickname for Mithril that's been treated with uh, White Dragon Breath. White, white, what? White Dragon Breath. It infuses the metal with its subtle ice, wintry magic, some mumbo jumbo like that. I don't know, you have to go to the uh, fucking steeple to get more information about that, but. The steeple? The Vellum Steeple. It's kind of the archive. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't have said that. They'll know where to find a white dragon, probably, if anyone could, but... Uh, do you think maybe somebody just has extra ice flex hanging around? Feel free to ask. The only person I could think of that would possibly have some shit like that would be the Plexus Post, Ava, but she's crazy. The what? Plexus the Post. The Plexus Post. Ava? Mm. Master Ava Endelwood. She's kind of a collector. Well, what, what kind of crazy, if you don't mind me asking? Kind of crazy who has a building that's just filled with things she's collected. Trade sells. She's a strange one. I can handle that. And she is at the, uh, this archive? Plex the, Not that I care. The Plexi Post. <laughs> she's at the Plexis Post. The Plexis Post? That's, that's where Ava is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we go to Ava, we get something from her, then we go do research at the steeple, then we go kill a white dragon. Well. No, you can go kill a white dragon. You no. don't have to kill it, you just have to get the metal enchanted with its breath. So wait, you oh, like that's easy. hold the metal up to the dragon and be like, breathe on this. Good luck, yeah. Or, 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 
That's maybe, certainly one way. Maybe you could run up to it and one person could be like, Whoa, so it like tries to attack you and then another person who's invisible will be invisible and that will hold something up in front of it. Like, and then the dragon will see you and then the dragon will breathe fire at the person that's like distracting and then they would accidentally have infused the mitra. Yeah. That's also a method. <laughs> Good luck. Do you know any white dragons? I don't, but you can certainly ask. The steeple <gasps> probably has some idea. Or, or, or instead of having a person being the distractor for it, you could just cast your major illusion. <sighs> or you could just say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a cupcake? 